Welcome to Gamer Use Tips and Tricks for Might and Magic Heroes Online. This video is to give you a heads up on events. Events will occasionally show up in Might and Magic Heroes Online, offering decent rewards if you have the skills to win some tricky battles. During an event, special event battles will appear on the map, where you can approach them and challenge them in a tough fight. The fight will indeed be a little rough, maybe not quite on a scale with expert battles. Maybe sorta, but still nothing to sneeze at, featuring unique enemies you are likely not familiar with. It's very much worth it though, each battle you win gives you nice XP and drops herbs you can use to buy rare troops at the event market, which is located right next to your town and is only available during the event. The events are pretty much your only chance to get these troops, such as soul seekers and minotaurs. The herb to troop ratios are very costly though, don't expect to get a lot for the herbs you bring. But that leads to the real benefit of the events. You don't get much from the battles themselves. What you're supposed to do each day of the event is talk to the event quest objects sitting right outside your town. It will give you a quest to win three event battles within one day. If you pull it off, you will get a ton of herbs as well as a massive amount of experience points. And the more you win these quests, the more rewards you get. So it is definitely worth stopping whatever you're doing and win the daily event quests to get mega amounts of XP and lots of herbs to snag rare units to boot. Your tactics for handling these event battles should be the same as expert battles. Your biggest threat usually will be a single supersized heavy stack that will deliver horrific damage to a car target. So concentrate on immobilizing and weakening that enemy stack however possible to lower casualties. Use tanking melee units, scrolls, potions, kiting, choke points, and everything you can to win. If you have special units saved up in your garrisons from overstocking or from getting them via angel feathers and phantom coins, you may want to get them out now. One final thing to note, even if you complete a daily event quest, you can still find and battle event battles on the map anyway throughout the day. The event battles basically stay on the map until the event is over. Note that, however, these battles do not count towards any event quests right up until you activate the next one, which won't happen until the next day. So it's up to you to fight event battles in your off time, that is, outside of these daily event quests, but they don't give much herbs and hit experience points compared to the daily event quests and could jeopardize your resources for that. So, uh, choose wisely. Hope this helps. Stay tuned to Gamer U for more info on Might and Magic Heroes online.